one of our favorite items that we equipped our truck with for RV life is this right here. The Better Built SLE Low Profile Toolbox with the shotgun crossover latches. Guys, before we got this toolbox, everything was in the bed of the truck. It was loose. It had to be bungeed down. We were storing things in milk crates, strapping it all down. But now it's all safe and secure, stored in here. Everything's kept dry. It's locked, it's safe. And the best part is it's low profile, so you don't have to worry about using it with your hitches. You can easily see over it to see when backing up and hitching up. And I love the shotgun latches. Just simply pop on the latch from either side. And now I can stand outside of my truck, reach in here, get my tools, get my Vi air pump, access whatever I need to without crawling into the bed of the truck to open this up or to get what I need to get out of it. It's a great toolbox. It's been a game changer ever since we had it. And the other best thing about it is it works with this tonneau cover right here. It's hard to find a toolbox that usually works in conjunction with the tonneau cover together. So that's kind of like the ultimate setup. And by the way, this is another thing, another great item to equip your truck with if you're going to be a RVer, especially a full-time RVer. Definitely recommend the tonneau cover. We're going to talk about that, what we keep in here, what we keep in there, and a lot more today. Mm. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Why Wait. For those of you new to the channel, I'm Chris, and today we are going to talk about how to equip your truck for RV life and everything we keep in here on a daily basis to make RV life easier. Whether it's a travel tow day or we're just out and about on a daily excursion, I'm gonna break down everything we just basically keep inside the truck, in the back, in the toolbox, and here to help out with RV life overall. Up here in the cab, it's a lot of navigational stuff, a lot of safety things. And let's go ahead and just start off with our tire pressure monitor system. And this right here, first thing we'll touch base on is the TST tire pressure monitor system. And by the way, we're gonna go over everything pretty quick today. We're not gonna get into too much detail about each item. I mean, for example, we have a whole video on tire safety in this exact product right here. So we're just gonna kind of talk about real quick what we have, why we have them, and not get into too much detail about how they work and stuff like that. But yeah, a tire pressure monitor system is probably a day one purchase. You guys wanna know what's going on with your truck tires and your RV tires pressure, high heat, prevent blowouts and things like that. So that's the first thing that you should always have if you're about to start this life or you're gonna get into RV and get, get yourself a good tire pressure monitor system to prevent any major accidents right there. And again, before we dive too deep into all these uh, items, some of them are obviously going to be, you know, specific for us and our truck and our truck needs, but you'll get an overall idea of just, you know, RV items that make life easier if you're living this lifestyle. Okay, next up, thought I'd flip the camera around real quick so I can show you the Halo B12 uh, dash cam, backup camera, observation cam, all that stuff. This is actually really nice if you have an older truck, kind of like we do, and we don't have a built-in GPS system or built-in, you know, Bluetooth or anything that's going to play our phone on a screen. So by using this, it actually has CarPlay which is nice, so if I'm connected to Wi-Fi, anything that's on my phone will actually pop up on here, and I can go ahead and use my GPS, which, you know, obviously, if you're going to be RVing and towing something, you wanna get you a good trucker GPS, we like to use the app Copilot, and I'll put a link down to that app. We have a video on our favorite apps as well, but it's the one that we prefer to use when we're towing. But get you some kind of dash cam. I definitely recommend that for safety features. And not only is, is this a dash cam, but we also have a backup camera on the back of the RV that we don't use that often. I'm not a big um, fan of cameras when I'm backing. I actually just like to use our phones and we FaceTime each other when we back up. I prefer to use that method. That way I can see my RV backing up versus uh, looking at a camera pointing out. But Let's pop open the center console here and I'll show you what we got down in here. A couple of good items, a couple of good safety items for you know general use, everyday driving, whether you're towing or not. You can see the first thing we have down in here is a fire extinguisher. That is a must if you're gonna be driving around in any vehicle. Always test it every once in a while, make sure the green button pops back up. 
Uh, you guys always want to keep a fire extinguisher in your vehicle as well as your RV. Your basic standard uh, window punch, if you ever need to break the window, recommend one of those. This is also a window punch and a flashlight. And then having some sort of kit like this on hand is very good because there's going to be all sorts of medical emergency things in here and useful stuff like that. I'm sure you guys have seen kits like this before. Open it up, it has all your basic uh, just medical needs, paracord, flashlights, window punch, knives, ponchos, anything like that. It's good for a hike, it's good to have in the truck. You never know what kind of situation you're gonna get into. Definitely recommend having something like this. This is just a basic one right here. We also have a bigger, more advanced uh, medical supply kit in the toolbox. And we'll show you that and everything else we keep in the toolbox here in a minute. Okay, we're gonna jump in the back seat of the truck in a minute and show you some essential things we keep back there for travel. But let me show you a few things I keep right here next to me in the driver's side door that come in handy. A few things right here and one of the most important things is a tape measure. You may be thinking, well, why do I need a tape measure if I'm RVing? Let me show you a little trick here real quick. You can see I went ahead and extended this just a little bit. And right there you may see a B and a K. Well, that stands for bedroom and kitchen bedroom and kitchen slide out this way when we get to a site if i'm not too sure if my slide outs are going to fit if they're going to come out and hit a tree or the electric pedal stool or anything like that i have this handy right in my truck before we park before we detach and unhitch you want to go ahead and measure your slide outs to see if they're going to fit in that space without guessing. I also have the numbers written down in my phone notes section as well, the exact measurements. So now I can just walk up and put this right next to the tree or the electric pedal stool in my RV where the slide out comes out. And I know if I'm gonna be safe, if it's going to fit. That's just a quick little hack we've been doing since day one. It definitely comes in handy. You don't wanna second guess yourself if the slide out is going to come out or not or you're gonna to have to reposition the RV. So keeping a tape measure handy is a plus. Definitely always have some gloves handy for fueling and rainy days, it's, you can't have enough gloves in the truck. And then it's kind of nice to have a few ponchos uh, ready as well. There's gonna be those rainy days where you're hitching and unhitching. You have to do it in downpouring rain. Having a couple ponchos, little quick disposable ones ready to go is a nice little item to have. Okay, jumping in the back seat here, I wanna show you another one of our favorite items. And that's this set power refrigerator cooler. We keep this in the truck on a daily basis. It never comes out of the truck because you can plug it in AC or DC and it won't kill the battery life of your truck. If you shut the truck off, it, it powers down in economy mode and it, it, it will actually make sure your battery will never die. So you can leave it plugged in for hours at a time. And this thing will get cold enough to freeze stuff. You can set the temperature. What's great about it is when we're going on hikes, daily excursions, we can keep lunch, cold drinks in here. We never have to buy ice. We never have to worry about that. And if you're RVing, a lot of times you're pretty far away from grocery stores. So the great thing is we can go shopping, put food, milk, or meats in here. And if you have an hour drive, you don't have to worry about them going bad. You can actually go out and run other errands. You don't have to go right home after doing grocery shopping like you normally would have to do to get the groceries back. A lot of times we do grocery shopping, all the cold items go right in here, and then we can just go about our daily business and not have to rush home. This is a great item to have whether you're an RV or not. We love having this cooler. Uh, this company has different sizes. We'll have links down to that as well, and a link to the video where we actually went and reviewed this cooler. It's a pretty neat little, I call it a cooler, but really it's just a, a refrigerator. So cool little item to have, and it's convenient in the back seat of our truck right here. We always have umbrellas handy where we can reach them. We have two umbrellas we always keep in the truck. And well, while I have my hand on this, I'm an excuse to saying, but we are at the beach, camping by the beach right now. Uh, this is great if you guys have dogs. I'm sure anybody who has dogs has something like this, but we obviously protect the seats with this. You know, it has a piece that folds up right here. We can zip it up, strap it up. The dogs can't come out this way. You can actually even put it up this way so they can't jump up front. Great item to have. We pretty much keep it back here 24 seven for the dogs. They're always traveling with us. It's a hot mess right now, but it's 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 been high quality. We've had this for maybe three, four years now, and it, it has not, you know, torn ripped nothing's been it's it's held up awesome so yeah nice little product if you have dogs and then the last thing really behind the seat back here is some heavy duty jumper cables pretty standard item to have if you don't definitely don't leave home without a, a good set of jumper cables and then we keep some spare grocery bags back here you can never have enough bags for uh well carrying stuff <laughs> 
Okay, let's get into the good stuff here. We talked about the toolbox. We talked a little bit about the tonneau cover. This is the Access Soft Roll-Up uh, Tonneau Cover that works with a toolbox. Put links down again to this. We got this one on e-trailer. I believe we are coming up on almost four years on this now. Thing's been awesome. No tears, no rips. It's not fading. Uh, it's been holding up well. But let's go ahead and dive into here. We're gonna open this up, open this up. We'll dig through this toolbox and show you some things that are gonna help out with RV life, towing, hitching, all kinds of things like that. Just basically what we carry. So we jumped up in the back of the truck here, pop the toolbox open, and I'm just gonna pull the stuff out, just kind of go through what we keep in here. And just real quickly, just, you know, why we keep it. Most of it does uh, pertain to RV life and just how it kind of helps us out on the road. This blanket is actually like an outdoor picnic blanket. And this comes in handy when you need to crawl underneath the RV, crawl underneath their truck, and you have to do some work. You don't want to lay in the hard gravel. Uh, it's, it's you know, made for outdoor use, kind of almost like a waterproof material. So we keep this in here. Just anytime I have to do work or crawl around underneath something, it's good to have a blanket like that or a tarp. Over here, you can never have enough bungees and straps. This little side compartment is full of bungees and straps. Uh, you can see we have an extra tire chalk down here. I don't really prefer these plastic ones. This is old. It's something we've had for a long time. They're just known to crack and break and kind of slide along the pavement. I do prefer the rubber chalks and uh, I just kind of keep this just in case, you know, it's just something to have a little extra one of those on hand. Anytime we have to do some conventional towing, we keep the ball right there. We have these little link levelers here. You know, I'm sure you guys have seen these. They stack up, you can drive on them, you can level them. To be honest with you, I really don't ever use these this much. I keep a couple in here just in case. I have some more in the RV, but um, I really just don't use these that much at all, but I keep them on hand. What I do tend to use a lot more is this wood. And this is pressure treated two by 10 right here, cut into various lengths. You can see we have a good pile of it in here. Um, this does come in handy. I do recommend keeping some wood on hand. It's great for many reasons from leveling to driving on and that stuff has come in hand. I, it is pressure treated that way. If I, if it's ever outside for long periods of time in the grass, you know, it's going to withstand uh, the elements and water, but having wood on hand is always key. And even in the bed of the truck here, you can see we have a couple of pressure treated two by eights and sometimes depending on the site we're on we actually drive the rv tires right up on top of these and use those and we have two 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 of those and just keep that right underneath the toolbox here so moving on we have an air hose for the reese goose box for our hitch and then a couple of jack stands it's nice to have a couple of jack stands uh handy We've used these to secure the RV a little bit if I'm doing some work, if I'm doing some bearings, and I just want a little extra protection from the hydraulics. So if you can, having a couple of jack stands never hurts. And right here we have a bottle jack. Oh, definitely recommend carrying a bottle jack around with you. It'd be nice to have a floor jack, but that's not really practical for weight. So having uh, a heavy duty bottle jack, that's gonna come in handy for the truck and the RV. We've had to use this a few times, again, mostly with maintenance and things like that, but having a bottle jack, it's a little bit more lightweight and convenient versus having a full-size uh, floor jack that you're going to try to carry around. So, nice little 12-ton bottle jack. Over here, I keep this backpack in here, and I keep this in our vehicle. I mentioned this earlier in the video. Inside here, we actually have, this is kind of our, like our go-to hiking backpack because we do find ourselves out a lot of times hiking and kind of a spur of the moment. So we can always take this backpack with us. It has everything from bear spray and hatchets, uh, various medical equipment, tourniquets, flashlights, things like that. It's just kind of the go-to, um, throw it on anytime we go on a hike. It's good to always just kind of keep it in the truck that way we always know we have it with us. And you know, that's a video for another day, all the equipment that we carry in here, but it's, it's handy just to always have on hand pretty dirty in here here's one I don't like to use that often but that is an ice scraper and we try not to have to use that this is literally bullshit 
This is two days after I just got done filming and telling you guys that I don't ever want to have to use this thing. Then you can see we have the old trusty Vi Air uh, air pump. No RV -er is complete without the air pump when you have to pump up these big RV tires at 110 PSI, even our truck runs 110 PSI. We have had this now for almost five years. It's held up great. The bag, uh, only thing we've, the handle's ripped here. Otherwise, this, this, this has been a must have. We've mentioned this in other videos, but this is another day one item that, you know, I wouldn't start RV life uh, without having one of these, having a big high quality air pump anytime you need to put air in your tires, which you should be checking anytime before you get on the road. The Via air pump, again, has withheld the test of time here being just about five years old. No issues with it, and it gets used all the time. As we dig further down in here, we have two tarps in here. Tarps always come in handy, pretty self-explanatory. And then these two items right here, also musts. We keep the torque wrench back here. Uh, recommend having a heavy duty torque wrench such as this, up to 250 foot pounds uh, per torque. And then we have this convenient little flip set of sockets various sizes and this is going to come in handy when you have to change tires torque and back down to specs i've used this to install the reese hitch when i had the anderson hitch both of these have got much use and it's something <clears throat> that does again come in handy if you're rving making sure you have the right size sockets for everything you need and a good heavy duty torque wrench and to go along with that torque wrench and the socket set you're going to want a good uh, breaker bar such as this to loosen those bolts and sockets up. You don't want to ever use your torque wrench to actually uh, loosen any kind of socket or lug nuts when you go to break them. You want to use a, a breaker bar. You could damage your torque wrench by using that. And then as you can see, I have a leaf spring in here. I usually carry spare leaf springs. I usually carry two. I will say this is one of the best items you can carry. Go ahead and check out, see what size leaf spring your RV requires. Carrying a leaf spring, an extra set, or even two, they're not that expensive, can save you a big time and hassle going down the road. We've broken leaf springs twice. We've had this extra set on hand. One time we were able to change on the side of the road, another time in a campground. You're just gonna save time if you have to, you know, you may get hung up a few days trying to order the right leaf spring. You may be able to get right back on the road the same as if you just changed a flat tire. So I definitely recommend getting a spare set of leaf springs, if not two, you know, travel with them, keep them on hand. It's gonna save you time and money probably at some point if you're gonna do this lifestyle long enough. Now, of course, this leaf spring is obsolete for us ever since we switched over to the Roadmaster Slipper Spring system. So we actually don't need this anymore, so, uh, Anybody with a Grand Design 37 DS looking for a leaf spring, let me know. I'll, I'll ship it out to you. You just gotta pay the shipping costs. Obviously, you wanna keep some tools on hand. I have some basic tools in here pliers, screwdrivers, wrenches, uh, crowbars. Got, you know, a couple of uh, wrenches. We'll have some socket sets in here. So just keep the bare minimum basics. We also have a toolbox that we keep back in the back of the truck back here. Uh, when we travel with it, you always want to have the appropriate tools if you need to fix anything. A couple of funnels, self-explanatory, and then we keep a couple different chemicals back here. A couple of them come in handy for RV life. One is fire ant killer. We camp in a lot of places where we have fire ants all over the campground, so we like to have some fire ant killer on hand. This one, this one right here is the home defense insect killer, ant killer. We pretty much spray this on our jacks and feet, anything that touches the ground to prevent ants from getting up into the camper if we're going to be somewhere for a few months. Always recommend carrying some coolant on hand. Figure out what kind of coolant your vehicle takes. Obviously, these trucks can overheat very easily in the mountains, pulling campers. Keeping some extra coolant on hand is always a good idea. These right here are the Reese Power tower uh little tennis balls here these extend these are great for backing up you can stick them on your hitch stick them on your truck you can line everything up and you can usually back up a lot easier if you can't see your hitch if you don't have a video camera to see it so yeah see we just have the ball in the bed of the truck and i actually installed this right here i'll stick that on there and magnets down i'll telescope this up i can see this out of my back window when i'm backing up when this lines up with the other one I know I'm perfectly lined up and 
<clears throat> just a neat little item to have. They work for bumper poles or fifth wheels or anything like that. So if there's anything out there uh, I forgot that you find useful that you always keep in your truck 24 seven, uh, shoot a comment down below. I'd like to hear about it. As always guys, get out there, start your full-time RV adventure because why wait? And I will see you guys next week.